Hello so, everyone, what's up guys, it's your Wally, welcome back to Classic Guidance. So in today's video, I'll be showing you how you can install Pixel Experience through the TWRP. So in my main channel's video, people have gotten a lot of issues. So in this video, there will be no issues. So consider following all the steps and subscribe to the channel. So let's get right into the video. So here you have to always check the OEM before in the installation and check the USB debugging in the developer option. So before the installation, you have this is the new trick. You have to just like change the date and time to a previous month. So today's month is June, so I just set it to the May 2023. So the revised Android version must be on Android 12. So here, just simply connect the device into your PC and. Uh, Go to your PC screen. And uh, type the command prompt. CMD and uh, type in the command. ADB devices. And here you should not say unauthorized. It should say like shown so just again type adb would download the device would go into the download mode it should go into the download mode like this and come back into your pc screen now this time you have to open the audience software and uh, root your android version so if you don't know how to root your android device i mean how to root the android 12 or 11 in your galaxy 21 s so i'll be giving a link in the description of this video consider checking it So here you have to just wait for it to be flashed and one more thing uh, for those people who have issue uh, in the in the, in flashing the TWRP so it's simple it, it can be solved easily just you have to follow up my steps do not let the device to be booted to stock room when the flash is done do not let the device to be boot just follow up the steps shown in the video so here i'm just i'll be just going to going back to download mode and i'm not letting the device to be put to stock room and i'll just boot it back to the recovery boot it back to stock recovery So on first time it will like show the erasing android icon or something so you don't have to let it go to the stock android just try to boot into the stock recovery. So here I will be just again rebooting the device and uh, going to the stock recovery by holding the volume and power combination. So just wait for the device to go to the recovery. So here just factory data or wipe data slash factory data series set. In the boot system and just again hold volume up and uh, volume up and down and go to go to the download mode and now here you have to 
flash the TWRP and here you will not have any issue like on your official panel is allowed to be flashed this is the common issues for the people when the flash is in just simply hold volume up and power button to let it boot to the TWRP So when you boot up into the TWRP, just go to the advanced and terminal and type in multi disabler. When you type the multi disabler, just simply press enter and some process will be done. Some process will be done and this again simply reboot to the reboot to that recovery again. So here I'm typing the multi disabler and here you go. And just go back to main screen and reboot to the recovery So here when, is, when it is rebooted back to recovery, just go to the wipe session and select format and type in YES to proceed and press enter to proceed. So when the format is done, just again reboot to the recovery again. go to the home and uh, just go to the recovery So here's the installation part of the Pixel Experience. So if you guys do not have any pen drive or any OTG or SD card, yeah, you can do it through the PC. So just follow up my steps. Connect the device to the PC and uh, keep connected to the PC. So just move the Pixel Experience file. It should be extracted, should not be compressed. It should be extracted from the RAR or zip file. So here I have the pixel experience extracted. Now I'll just move it to the internal storage of my device and I'll wait for it. So when the move is done, just go to the install session and select the install image and it might show up like that. You can just simply install it through the internet storage. So again you have to move the magisk.zip to completely root the device. So my device is not capturing or focusing. Sorry for the poor quality. So just here you, you have to just move the magisk.zip into your into your internal storage. So Here I've got the magic.zip 
I'll be moving to the internal storage. So by installing with the internal storage, it's way faster than the way faster than the pen drive. So here you can check how fast it will be installed through the internal storage. You simply press on the pixel experience and swipe and flash it as system image. So just follow up my steps shown in the video. So here when it, the magic is flashed just simply reboot the system and wait for the pixel to be rebooted. The boot up might take up a few minutes so just be patient. So here comes the routing part. So I have the magisk in the PC. So I have plugged in my device to the PC. So I will just move the magisk to my internal storage to install the magisk. So I will just go to the Google files, go to the internal device internal storage and rename the magic.zip into the magic.apk When the magic is installed in your into your device, just simply allow the additional setup step. Okay, it made the device might reboot about in five seconds. So just wait for it to reboot.
So now again just simply open back the magisk. If it again ask to proceed the installation additional setup just simply just direct install which is set recommended. If you don't want it just leave it. If it again when you open when you open the magisk if it again ask to download the additional setup you can just simply again download it it's not a big problem or issue so the modules works and the digest also works so everything works fine so we again doing the additional setup okay and i'm going to just direct install and let's go and wait for it to proceed and i'll just reboot the device So here everything just works perfectly fine. The Zygisk and everything, the denialist, in full denialist, everything works fine. So if you understand this video, consider subscribing to this channel. So I'll see you in the next video.